Hello everybody and welcome back to another movie trailer review. It is about 8 o'clock in the evening and I have just uploaded my previous trailer review of the Terminator Genesis, oh my gosh my voice cracked up there, the Terminator Genesis official trailer 1. Now I'm going to be reviewing the Terminator Genesis official trailer 2. So let's get on with this. Ha ha ha. So Paramount Skydance Productions, and here we have the um, Golden Gate Bridge with San Francisco in the distance. So, boom, we're into the trailer. John, you can do this. You just go and you don't. So we've got Sarah Connor talking to um, a young John, I believe. Who is this? Is it meant to be? I know it says John. You just go and don't look back, but something tells me this could be like. Kyle Reese or something. I don't know why. Just never mind. It's presumably her talking to her son. Look back. Look back. This here, I believe this is August 29th, 1997, Judgment Day. The nuclear missiles being launched by Skynet. Ha <sighs> The age of the machines is beginning. Yep, yep, there they are. Launching their nuclear attack. And this is it. Yep. This is what we saw in the last trailer, the nuclear missiles heading towards their targets and destroying the world. It's all very grim. Kaboom! And this is, I believe this is LA, Los Angeles, and nuclear explosion. One of the missiles has found its target. Once again, we've got the same shot of San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge, but this time it's after the war, and everything isn't looking good. My whole life I prepared my son. Prepared my son to fight against the machines. The yep, so there we've got John Connor. And here we are, guys. Here's the smiling Terminator that I completely find hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love these guys. I mean, I know they're meant to be killing us, killing humans, but I just love the way they're smiling all the time. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it, guys. Fight against the machines. Night, we we take back our world! So this is John and I presume Kyle? Kyle? Yeah, it's Kyle. Um fighting through Skynet's defense because we can see in the background on their um left and right we can see endoskeletons and soldiers so yep this is the future there was one thing i could never prepare him for the machine tried to rig the game said it so um yeah this is the terminator I'll go back to the time before the war kill my mother i'll go back let me save her. Yeah, we saw this in the last trailer. They're repeating it. Oh, whoa. No way to sick. That's not meant to happen. It's meant to happen in that alleyway. Not there. Hmm. I heard that there was plenty of time traveling on this, so maybe this is another part of the film. The T-1000 is back, guys. Just like we saw... Uh, Okay. Yep, the T-1000. With his blade arms. <laughs> he looks cool. Still very dangerous. Alright, so, um, yeah, we, we've, we're all basically seeing this in the... We've all basically seen this before, guys. They're pretty much repeating stuff. Nice to meet you. I've been trying to teach him to blend in. I know it needs work. Huh, <laughs> this July. Oh my gosh! I just happened to pause it there and look! Look what's on that screen there. Genesis! Ah, I'll stop with these Genesis things, but honestly, it just bugs me the way the spelling is. Anyhow, so they've got the Genesis things on the screen here, so clearly Genesis is something big in the world. Oh, it's John Connor, and oh, it's quite a coincidence because he's meeting both his mother and father. Because he doesn't, I don't think he 
knows it yet, but his father is actually Kyle Reese. And this is where they spoil everything! They spoil everything, guys! They spoiled it all! What are they so now, yeah. Sorry about the spoilers, guys, but pretty much everybody who's watched these trailers will know what's happened. Absolutely ridiculous. They spoiled everything! Let's just get on with this. Be done to my son. Survival is what you taught me. Oh, this is intense. Yep, this is what we saw in the last trailer. We didn't see this particular shot, though. The bus. Oh, oh god, that doesn't look good. Get out. Oh, yep. They've definitely got a lot of Easter eggs. We've seen I'll Be Back. We've seen the smiling thing. And now we've seen that Get Out thing. They're doing a lot of references from the other movies. As well as the, um, the mechanical arm with the skin being taken off. Not machine. Oh, oh, gosh. So, yeah, guys. Pretty much, the trailer has completely spoiled the fact that John Connor, who was meant to be the leader of the human resistance, is now the new Terminator. Not mad. Yep, so you're... So you're pretty much a man. A man. And a machine here. So, this is... Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is the um the Terminator here, being held by the throat by John Connor, who is the new Terminator in his mechanical form. And this Terminator doesn't appear to be smiling like that one just back there was. It's an angry Terminator. I can't leave it. Oh no. Whatever they did to John, they need to reverse it. I need to hurry this up. Oh gosh. I totally agree with you. You are. I've been waiting for you. <gasps> it's him, the old term oh Terminator Genesis. You gotta get him off me! I'll be back. What? Oh gosh. This is cool. July first in 3D. Alright. Let me find a cool standstill, guys. Uh, let's, uh... Ah! Ah! Where can I find a cool standstill? Uh... Oh, man. This is good. Okay. This trailer, I... All I can say is they gave away a huge plot point. The fact that John Connor is the new Terminator... That was such a cool surprise. They could have kept it, and they didn't. Oh. Yeah, I I don't know what to say, guys, except for the fact that that is just freaking annoying. Friggin' friggin' annoying. Anyhow, this trailer is definitely a, not, a lot more packed. We see more references, like the smiling thing... Which which is good, because I guess there's a bit of humour in the film. And I especially like those nuclear explosions bits, with the missiles being launched and that explosion over LA. That looked really cool. We got to see, um, just uh, around the later bit, around, yeah, just here, we got to see, um, if you look at the little screen thing below, we get to see, um, they're both Terminators, the one from the original one and the one from this one. We get to see them facing off. We get to see more of the T-1000. Um, we get to see more of the bus thing. This definitely looks action-packed. The CGI, though. Um, the CGI is kind of bugging me. I often pick on CGI in films because I'm, I'm kind of a technical person, but the CGI just doesn't look very convincing, in my opinion. Just this, the T-1000 here... No, 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 sorry, not the T-1000. The new Terminator, the John Connor one here, um, just doesn't look too convincing. Okay, guys, I still don't know what I think of this film. I don't know if it's going to be a faithful adaption to the others, but I guess when I watch it, we will soon see. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.